Astronomers tracking 3i Atlas say it has altered its course, worrying scientists about its close proximity to Earth. In fact, I do think that, you know, in the past we worried about existential threats from artificial intelligence, from uh, the change of the climate, or from uh, an asteroid that will impact the Earth. But there is another item that we should add to the list, which is alien tech. What if the next visitor from deep space isn't just a chunk of rock? Right now, an object known as 3i Atlas is racing toward the sun, and it's raising more questions than answers. Its speed is beyond anything humanity could ever launch. Its orbit seems almost deliberate, and its glow, it refuses to fit neatly into any scientific box. NASA labels it a comet, but some astronomers, including Harvard's Avi Loeb, argue the data doesn't quite add up. Which leaves us with a chilling question. Is this simply a natural relic from another star system, or could it be something far more advanced? Something designed? Before we dive deeper, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button, because what you're about to hear will challenge everything we think we know about interstellar space. Now picture this, a mysterious glow in the night sky so bright, so unusual that astronomers had no choice but to take a closer look. As they studied 3i Atlas, the numbers shocked them. If that brightness is really sunlight bouncing off solid rock, then this object could stretch nearly 20 kilometers wide. That's bigger than Manhattan. In fact, it's larger than any interstellar visitor humanity has ever recorded. Compare that to the famous Oumuamua in 2017 or Borisov in 2019, both of which were far smaller and acted more like icy wanderers just drifting through space. Atlas doesn't just stand out, it breaks the pattern entirely. And here's where the mystery deepens. For decades, scientists assumed the vast space between stars was almost empty. Yes, an occasional rock or comet might slip through, but they should be small, fragments of something bigger, not colossal giants. Yet within just a single decade of finding our very first interstellar object, we may now be looking at another, and this one is cartoonishly massive. For researchers, it feels like watching someone win the lottery twice in a row. Only here, the odds being beaten are cosmic, far stranger than chance. The odds of finding something like this aren't just slim, they're millions to one. According to models of how star systems scatter debris, there simply shouldn't be this many giant fragments drifting through space, waiting for us to notice. And yet, here it is. What makes 3i Atlas even stranger is the way it shines. Normally, a comet glows because the sun heats up its frozen surface, blasting out jets of gas and dust that form that beautiful hazy tail we've all seen in pictures. But when the Hubble Space Telescope locked onto Atlas, astronomers didn't see a dramatic tail. Instead, it looked like a single sharp point of light, almost like a bare asteroid just reflecting sunlight. But here's the kicker. The glow was far too intense for an ordinary rocky asteroid of that size. It's like shining a flashlight on a snowball and watching it blaze like a stadium spotlight. The response doesn't match what the object is supposed to be made of. Too bright for an asteroid, not active enough for a comet, inconsistent in every way. So NASA did what made the most sense on paper. They classified it as a comet, based on its path and its general brightness. But a label doesn't erase the contradictions. If it really is a comet, then where's the sweeping tail of gas and dust we would normally expect? And if it's more like an asteroid, then why does it gleam with such unnatural brilliance? This is where Avi Loeb, one of the most outspoken astrophysicists of our time, steps in. He isn't claiming Atlas is definitely not a comet. Instead, he's urging caution, pointing out that our traditional labels don't perfectly fit what we're seeing. And that leaves us with a bizarre picture, an object too large to exist by the usual odds, too bright to behave like rock, too quiet to behave like ice, and too strange for our current categories. Even Hubble's images, which were supposed to bring clarity, only deepened the mystery. When the Hubble Space Telescope zoomed in, astronomers expected to see a familiar sight, a glowing tail streaming away from the sun. But instead of a comet shedding ice and dust, Hubble captured something strangely still, as if the object was sealed shut, refusing to reveal what it's truly made of. No tail, no activity, just an eerie, unblinking point of light. 
This is why even veteran astronomers hesitate when speaking about 3i Atlas. It doesn't behave the way their textbooks say it should. On one hand, it's far too large to dismiss as a random piece of space junk. On the other, it doesn't fit into the neat categories we've built for comets and asteroids. Every new observation only seems to stretch the mystery further. And here's the twist. The real puzzle isn't just about how big or bright it is. The deeper question is, where exactly is it going and how is it moving? That's where things begin to look less like coincidence and more like something intentional. Because when scientists mapped Atlas's orbit, they noticed something unsettling. Instead of tumbling in at a random angle, like most outsiders do, Atlas seems to slide right into place with us. Our solar system is shaped like a massive flat disk, with Earth, Jupiter, Saturn, and the rest of the planets moving around the Sun along that invisible sheet. Normally, comets and asteroids arriving from the void don't care about this disk. Their orbits slash through at steep angles, like darts flying across a room. But Atlas? It's moving along a path nearly identical to our planets, tilted by only about five degrees. One object doing that might be called luck, a coincidence. But when you put it alongside all its other strange traits, the size, the glow, the silence, you can't help but wonder, is this thing really just drifting here by chance? Or is there a bigger story behind why it aligns so perfectly with our cosmic neighborhood? Sure, one strange alignment could be written off as coincidence, but when the odds are stacked against it, scientists rarely stop there. They start asking, what are the chances this orbit happened naturally? And with 3i Atlas, the mystery doesn't end at good alignment. The real shock is how it moves. Every planet in our solar system circles the Sun in the same direction, following a rhythm that has lasted for billions of years. Atlas, however, isn't following the crowd. It's entering on a retrograde orbit, racing the opposite way, directly against the flow of everything the Sun has held together since the dawn of time. Picture standing by a calm river. Leaves float downstream, carried effortlessly by the current. Then suddenly a single boat appears, powering upstream, cutting through the flow. Your eyes lock onto it, not just because it's moving, but because its motion feels intentional, chosen, almost purposeful. That's the feeling astronomers get when they trace the path of Atlas. Yes, natural objects can sometimes move on retrograde orbits. It's rare, but it happens. Yet when you combine that with its precise alignment to the solar plane, the same invisible disk where our planets glide, the picture starts to look less random and more deliberate. And that's exactly why this detail raises the most eyebrows among scientists. When astronomers weigh the possibility of an interstellar object being artificial, trajectory is one of their strongest clues. Random chunks of rock are messy. They scatter into wild paths shaped by collisions, gravity, or violent star births. They don't usually slip neatly into the highway lanes of our planets, especially not while barreling the wrong way down the road. So here's the unnerving question. Is this just a strange accident of geometry, or could there be a hidden signal in the way Atlas travels? Avi Loeb has even gone so far as to suggest a speculative possibility that maybe, just maybe, what we're looking at isn't simply a rock at all. Some scientists have even dared to wonder, could Atlas be more than a drifting rock? Could it be navigated or perhaps designed to release smaller instruments while passing through? Now, speculation is not proof and astronomers are careful to draw that line, but the fact that these questions are even on the table shows how unusual Atlas's behavior really is. Think about it. If a civilization wanted to study a solar system, this would be the kind of path they might choose. A retrograde orbit makes close planetary flybys possible, while also setting the object apart from local bodies, making it easier to track. It's the kind of trajectory that feels strategic rather than random. At the same time, astronomers remind us of one crucial fact. There is no smoking gun evidence of propulsion, no exhaust plumes, no bright flashes of engines, no strange radio signals pouring out of Atlas. So what do they look for instead? They look for non-gravitational acceleration, tiny, almost invisible nudges in its course that can't be explained by gravity alone. If Atlas veers even slightly away from what physics predicts, then something new is at play. Maybe unfamiliar natural forces, or if you dare to stretch the imagination, a controlled push, Right now, telescopes around the globe are locked onto Atlas, measuring its position with painstaking precision, waiting to see if its course shifts. 
And this is where the suspense hangs heavy, because so far, the orbit looks too precise and the retrograde direction too bold to simply ignore, but astronomy moves slowly. Patience is the rule. Until we see undeniable signs of an unexplained force, the image of a boat paddling upstream remains just that, an analogy, not evidence. Still, even without proof, Atlas refuses to be dismissed. It doesn't fit neatly into our categories of comet or asteroid. It doesn't behave like the thousands of icy wanderers we've charted before. Instead, it lingers in that uncomfortable middle ground, too strange to explain away, too silent to fully reveal its hand, from its impossible size to its unsettling brightness, to its performative path through the solar system. Every clue only adds another layer to the mystery. Just when you think Atlas can't get any stranger, another twist surfaces. Its raw speed defies explanation. If Atlas were just a wandering rock, how do we explain the fact that it's outrunning every machine humanity has ever built? Right now, Atlas is tearing through space at nearly 41 kilometers per second. To put that into perspective, NASA's fastest spacecraft, the Parker Solar Probe, can reach a little over 19 kilometers per second. Atlas is moving at more than double that speed. And remember, it's not powered by solar panels, thrusters, or any kind of visible engine. It's simply flying, cruising faster than anything human technology can even dream of. But this isn't just a flashy record, its speed changes everything. When an object crosses the sky at twice the rate astronomers expect, observation becomes a race against time. Imagine trying to photograph a hummingbird mid-flight from across a football field using only a basic camera. That's the challenge Atlas throws at the world's most powerful telescopes. Every second counts, every detail risks slipping away. Even when compared to the earlier interstellar visitors, Oumuamua in 2017, Atlas sets a new bar. Those two were already fast by solar system standards, but Atlas blows past them like a sports car overtaking a city bus, and that leaves scientists staring at an even bigger question, why? What kind of force could launch an object to this speed? Why doesn't it line up with what our models of planetary systems predict? The numbers don't look random, the acceleration doesn't look ordinary, and the deeper they dig into the math, the more Atlas seems to be rewriting the rules of what's possible out there in the dark. Atlas's speed isn't just a random quirk, it has consequences. A faster rock is more likely to shine brightly enough for us to notice. That's why Atlas grabbed our attention in the first place. But here's the twist. The very thing that makes it visible also makes it harder to explain. Think of it like this. You're standing on the freeway. Dozens of cars pass at normal speed, blending together. But suddenly, one blurs by at double the limit. You notice it instantly, not because it's the biggest vehicle, but because it's the fastest. For a moment, your eyes lock on it, then you're left wondering, what did you just see? That's exactly how Atlas feels to astronomers. Fast, brilliant, but strangely hard to interpret. And inside those numbers hides a deeper possibility. If Atlas's orbit shifts in even the tiniest way that gravity alone can't explain, scientists call that non-gravitational acceleration. That was the very clue that sparked years of debate about Oumuamua, because when an object drifts off its predicted path, something is giving it a push. For a normal comet, the explanation is simple. Icy jets venting gas, acting like miniature thrusters. But Atlas, it doesn't show the activity you'd expect from powerful jets. No visible outbursts, no dramatic tail. So if a push is there, what's causing it? A hidden physical process we don't understand yet? Or however unlikely some kind of propulsion that's why observing its speed alone isn't enough. The real test is in watching the subtle changes in speed and direction over time. Atlas now sits in this uncomfortable grey zone. It could be a massive comet, it could be an unusually bright asteroid, or it could be something that doesn't fit into either box at all. One thing is certain, it's one of the strangest visitors our solar system has ever seen. And the clock is ticking. By December 2025, when Atlas passes beyond Mars and telescopes get their clearest look yet, we may finally know the truth. The only question is, when that moment comes, will it confirm the ordinary or force us to rethink everything we know about interstellar travelers?